Lord Michael, Plans of Intervention, October 29, 2017, by Christine Preston. Christine, Highlight Workers. Although what I am going to say is a self-certification from the point of view that it is what I have been told a few times by telepathic communication, back in 2015, as you may know I have officially been declared a messenger for the Great White Brotherhood after some training. This organization is not of this material, or physical world, but the spiritual hierarchy that is well known in the ageless wisdom of the traditional teachings, the source of which is the archangels and ascended masters of the celestial higher dimensions, that also were central to the teachings of the ancient records, or scriptures, of the world as heaven, or the heavens. In the spiritual teachings received by the same telepathic method of transmission as the one which the prophets of Israel experienced, this heaven is most of the time referred to as the higher realms, etheric plane, or higher planes of existence. When the New Testament tells you, for instance, that Mary had a vision and an archangel made an announcement to her, for instance, what really happened is that she received a telepathic communication as well as mental images. You might read that Joseph had a dream and was alerted to flee to Egypt. Enoch was said to have journeyed to the heavens while his eyes were wide opened. This indicates he bilocated. He still was in his body while experiencing a communication with an archangel. There are plenty more examples. Jesus communicated with the Father aspect of his I am presence. You have been instructed how to do this too. When I call for the tube of light, I reach to my I am presence and it is the Father aspect of my God presence who speaks to me. Moses asked of his I am presence what was his name and received the answer, I am that I am which meant I am that I am in you. And as mentioned before, the bush that he saw burning was the tree of life of Genesis and of the ancient cosmologies of the world. This tree of life was symbolic of the I am presence, and of the spiritual genealogical origin of the souls that represent the mystical body of God, and their roots are indeed in heaven. When I wake up every morning Mu and a twin flame converses with me unless there is no time. He sometimes tells me what time it is before I have a chance to look at my alarm clock. Almost every day, I have communication with Archangel Michael in the afternoon or later before bedtime. The scenes taking place in the external world are very alarming, and for this reason I would like to pass on to you, the light workers, some reassurance, comfort and faith that the divine plan is unfolding despite the appearance. In the video on the subject of the weather being manipulated as a weapon, it has been stated that the catastrophes that have recently taken place are not an act of God, nor natural, but artificially created by secret technology that the evil pyramid of control, as we call them, possesses. I have posted on my Facebook page a video which was published in 2011 and which exposed a conspiracy to use microwave technology on California, and this may have been forgotten, but someone has taken it out of the archives, and connected the dots and are then faced with the dreadful conclusion that a terrible genocide has just been taking place on the American soil, and it's not much different from the 9-11 one, in fact there is evidence that the same mysterious technology has been used. Because of this my ascended twin flame, Andre, made a statement this morning, of October 29th, that may be of some help to you, the lightworkers. It goes as follows. Andre. There is an exclusive arrangement for the protection of the light workers, by divine law, with monitoring by celestial forces. Christine, I think I have recalled the exact words. I never cease to be amazed by the expressions that he and Archangel Michael, as well as the other beings of higher dimensions use. When they give me a word-for-word -word dictation I write it down and then their style is preserved. When I receive a communication in meditation I have to remember the words and expressions that were used and it's more difficult. Sometimes Andre reminds me. If I am looking for a term that I have forgotten, he sends it to me. I posted some explanations for that statement that Andre gave me. Quote, Hi friends. This was said to me by Andre, my ascended twin flame now descending with the Andromedans, this morning, with intense love. There are special choirs of heaven and fleets and armies with some ascended masters such as Jesus the Christ, the World Mother, Lord Maitreya, and Archangel Michael's army sent from the higher dimensions. 
they have technology and use plasma ships to move about because of the vast distances involved with this platform, the physical plane, not due to interplanetary travel. They can use them to go from one dimension to another. The communication was full of details which I hope to have time to recall with him later with a pen in my hand. Also with the exclusive arrangement for your protection, which has been set up even before your birth for your mission, the area you are in can benefit because an attack or disaster is not permitted to occur due to your immunity from having to experience these disasters or your life being taken. The Summit Lighthouse headquarters in Montana, for instance, are located close to the caldera which cannot explode as some scientists like to predict, because of this kind of arrangement. A lot of ideas communicated in this type of communication, in meditation, are not received with words. Andre says a few words and I receive notions associated with what he is saying. Telepathic communication is a weird thing. See the video entitled The Realm of Telepathic Communication. Perhaps I should have said that it doesn't exclude traveling between worlds but I think they would first power themselves up to a higher dimension. Yesterday evening, Saturday October 28th, Archangel Michael gave me a message in relation to a personal situation which I can partially pass on so that you can see how intervention can take place. I have had half a dozen messages from Archangel Michael about the impending ascension that is around the corner, so to speak. He keeps reminding me of this so I keep the focus on this whatever the external circumstances or challenges. We were all presently integrating our higher selves to a greater degree upon a path that is personal to us. And this is why the message started with a reference to this integration, and I find the statement rather puzzling by the way, but have to report it for the context and because it may apply to other light workers, and it was not the first time he made it. I was taking this down on paper so it is a word-for-word -word dictation. Lord Michael, the integration of your higher self is complete for this life and body, but there will be a transformation at a later stage when you take the next initiation and you are ascending. There is a next stage when you will undergo an operation that we sometime refer to as a resurrection because it will transform your body and transfigure it as we have said before. This is to happen at different times for each person. It is depending upon your state of evolution or advance upon the path of ascension and initiation. It is a path of progression in spirituality in which you become increasingly attuned with your I Am Presence, as well as begin to express your higher self more and more. You entertain a relationship of love with this higher dimensional family and the father and mother aspects of your higher selves, one of whom is your own higher self. You are a fraction, or facet of this being and need to integrate this celestial counterpart to a greater degree. This higher self is a solar angel, or angelic, or a mighty Elohim, or cosmic being. Your pets, as you have learned, are also a projection of consciousness from some cosmic beings who exist upon Sirius A, where dogs and cats are concerned. Christ himself was recorded as having said that his followers would be capable of greater things or achievements, or even miracles, than he was. Well, you are not walking upon water, but to some extent this is true. With regard to sensitivity and love you are now capable of the love required for the ascension. Christine, at that point, and because Archangel Michael had mentioned the imminent approach of a change, or ascension, perhaps within a few months, and because we have been given a date for the end of the transition period as being February 18, 2018 probably for a good reason, I wondered whether I should still be attempting to relocate by selling my flat. Most of us are struggling either financially or due to health problems, and this is partly due to the chemical trails situation. So I mentioned to Archangel Michael that I know he gives me healing all the time, but that it would be a good solution to relocate and turn the page because of the situation of the distance between myself and my children in England. This was his answer. Lord Michael. I would like to tell you, Christine, that you are going to ascend. It is true that, in a sense, there is little point in attempting to move, or worrying about it, but having said that, I am not contradicting what I said before, namely that you are going to sell your apartment soon. Did you forget I said that? Christine, I sometimes wonder whether prophecy always manifests as it has been said that it is not made of stone, and can be changed such as the Fatima prophecy was, 
refer to the video with a message from Archangel Ariel entitled No Celestial Body Will Hit Earth. And prophecy often is dependent upon human free will, so I remember that about a week or so ago, Archangel Michael did tell me that something important was going to happen a few days later, and then the release of the secret dossiers concerning the assassination of John F. Kennedy were in the news. Then Archangel Michael reminded me of what was said in the Ageless Wisdom channeled by Alice Bailey about the Master Dual Call, such as the fact that he was living in a physical body after having taken some initiations. There are details about this in the video on the six initiations. Archangel Michael continued, and halfway through, Archie Faith also lent a hand, and joined in the conversation and contributed some very interesting details about the way our higher selves can intervene in our lives. Lord Michael The transformation concerning that resurrection, or transfiguration, will not necessarily be drastic so that you can't be recognized, but just enough so you feel more comfortable. Your twin flame will then be descending in his body of illumination that is Andromedon, from a higher dimensional plane of existence, for his mission upon this earth plane. It will involve a teaching to pass on to people to follow the path of ascension. Some souls chose to return to the physical plane and some to stay above in the higher dimensions to operate from that position. Christine This is Archangel Michael and your higher self. I am looking after you and will bring about, or materialize, some changes without any difficulty. Matter is still difficult, or shall we say, not so malleable as regard physical bodies so when past a certain stage of deterioration, death is inevitable, and particularly the case when there has not been any integration of higher consciousness, or light has not been magnetized. But we are talking about changing circumstances and it is not so easy in the case in which there is no financial means, or hardly any, so that to make the matter worse, you are limited and cannot lower your price because of the fees. But we have some experience in these situations and when the I am presence has made the decree that something has to happen, nothing can stop it. So this is how you can view the situation. There will be a change and a turning of the page, and although your daughter thinks you may be hoping for too much, later she will remember all the times that you seem to know the future, or what would happen. So wait and see. Christine, I have passed this on, although it relates to a personal situation so that some light workers who are unable to receive telepathic messages may take heart, or have faith, that they are being looked after, and will understand that they are living through a last phase of difficult circumstances in this period of transition which is one which can be compared to the labors of giving birth. Mankind is giving birth to higher consciousness like that woman clothed with the sun in the book of Revelation. The symbols attached to being clothed with the sun is, as mentioned in previous videos, in relation to the weaving of a solar garment for the ascension. At the same time there is a confrontation taking place with the serpent, or dragon, representing the dark forces, and the latter are organized as in the system of compartmentalization of the evil pyramid of control, but it was the establishment that has been recently dethroned. This confrontation is a battle between the light and the dark, an Armageddon of the psyche in which the matter of perception related to the third eye chakra holds an important place. Disclosure takes place as people are awakened and gain new perceptions, new views, and as a result higher consciousness. They pass it on by the means of narratives and as a result give rise to many arguments and differences in opinion. But it is quite a positive thing. So this is the situation and it is why the lies are being exposed and people are beginning to gain a new perspective of who they are, and what the goals of life should be. They are beginning to awaken to the matrix of lies that has been created during the last 500 years, especially with the heliocentric concept. A new world will be given birth upon the ashes of disclosure and life will be restored to what it was in the lost state of paradise. Keep that in mind in the hours of difficulties, says Andre. Leaving you safe and secure in the light and care of the ascended masters as well as all the archangels, Christine.